So hello, all the people who are out there watching us live. So officially, I'd like to thank you for joining us for day one. This is day one of four days, believe it or not. This has been a mammoth undertaking. So join us for, for day one of the 2024 Adobe Educators Conference being hosted live at RMIT on the 30th of September. We are in Warren Jerry land in the Kulin Nation, otherwise known as Melbourne, Australia. My name is Dr. Tim Kitchen and I'm Adobe's Senior Education Specialist for the Asia Pacific region. And I would like to introduce you to Professor Simone White, the Dean of the School of Education at RMIT for our official conference opening and welcome. Now, Professor White, I've got a little bit of information here. Let's see, this is all very accurate is a leading expert in teacher education and professional learning, focusing on the best ways to prepare teachers for diverse context, with a particular focus on rural, you'll like that, Greg. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, regional and remote. Fantastic. Her research explores the fields of teacher education policy, teacher learning, professional experience, and building and maintaining university school community partnerships. How appropriate for our partnership with Adobe. So please give a nice warm welcome to Professor White. Thanks so much, Tim. Hopefully everyone can hear me okay. Hello to everyone online and warm welcome to everyone here. But as introduced, my name is Simone White and I have the great pleasure of being the Dean of the School of Education here at the wonderful uh, RIT campus. So, I would like to um, share with you an acknowledgement to country. Uh, and in our School of Education, we've been actually learning a little bit more about the many seasons of the, of the land in which we are lucky to, to, to work. Uh, and this particular Hopefully this sounds okay. This particular season in September and October is Pornit, uh, which is tadpole season. So uh, we've moved through a number of seasons already throughout the year. Uh, I don't know for those of you who might suffer hay fever like myself, uh, we've just gone through waffle season and that's continuing. Uh, but this time of the year is when the yellow daisies, I don't know if you've seen through the grass, the little, ye the little yellow daisies popping up. Um, and they start to bloom. Um, the pied currawongs call loudly and often especially reminding us that the gumai snake and wujing lizard are awake and active, so time to start being aware and uh, watching out. The sacred kingfisher, a migrant bird, returns home from the north and a big celebration is held in its honour. Uh, so this is from the senior Wondery elder, Auntie Joy Murphy Wondon. So this is a little bit about the season that we're in at the moment. Also, uh, for those of you who are here uh, in person as such at our RMIT City campus, if you go just across behind is Bowen Lane and you just go one more little um, block, I suppose, next, you'll come across Nagara Place. Uh, this is where we have our traditional uh, smoking ceremony and where you can learn more about the other seasons as well. So I just wanted to show people a little bit about this particular place. So now I would like to acknowledge um, the people of the Woiwurrung and Boonwurrung language groups of the Eastern Kulin Nation on whose unceded lands we conduct the business of our university. RMIT University respectfully acknowledges their ancestors and elders, past and present. RMIT also acknowledges the traditional custodians and their ancestors of the lands and waters across Australia where we conduct our business. And I'd like to uh, extend the respect to any Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander people here today and online. So just while I have uh, an audience of teachers, and as, my, as myself, I was a primary school teacher before moving into uh, working with teachers in professional development, and now I have the great pleasure to be at university where we're thrilled to be um, preparing the next generation of teachers. Just, just a really quick, I won't take too much of your time, just to share with you a little bit about us. I'm not sure if we have any alumni in the room or online, but um, RMIT, we have uh, multiple campuses, uh, Melbourne, Brunswick and Bandura and our School of Education is based both here in the city and also at Bandura. Um, you'll, if you get a chance to have a look around, you might go up to see the library and some wonderful spaces of learning that we have. As many other um, schools of education across Australia, we have a really comprehensive um, program and you'll see all of the different uh, types of programs that we have from our four-year Bachelor of Education to our two-year Master of Teaching uh, through our Master of Education and, of course, our um, Doctor of Educational Philosophy. 
And one of the things that we're really priding ourselves in the School of Education is trying to meet the diverse uh, workforce needs in particular. We've just released um, a particular micro-credential that's been endorsed by the Victorian Institute of Teaching on casual relief teaching. And I know that's a particular um, role. I think that's very important. And something I think at university we hadn't really been focusing on. And so we're really now trying to develop um, more, sp more particular uh, for the needs of the, of the workforce. So you'll see there a little list of the things that we're, uh, we're really priding ourselves on and we hope to, um, to work with you in the future. So I'll hand over back to Tim now and say thank you very much for the opportunity to, to be here today. Looking forward to learning more as well and also um, the panel that's on later on this afternoon. So thank you very much, Tim. Thank you, Simone. Round of applause for <laughs> Professor Simone White. Thank you so much. <laughs> Simone, I had the pleasure of going to your Bandura campus earlier this year and working with a number of your pre-service teachers and we got them through, quite a few of them through, the Adobe Creative Educator Level 1 course, micro-credential course, and it was fantastic at the pre-service teachers just before they start hitting the classrooms to give them that accreditation. It looks wonderful on their resumes. And those of you who are watching online, lots of opportunities to do that course coming up later this year and also next year too. And in fact, some of you have even registered to do that particular course today here at the, um, at the conference. So it's terrific. Thank you very much, Professor.